Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm super excited. I got a few things to let you know. Um, today is a huge day for me. Today I'm getting my first real haircut. And when I say that, I mean the first haircut that I can actually choose the style I want, which means I'm going to fade it out, which you obviously can't do when you don't have hair here because it looks stupid. Um, but hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. Anyone who doesn't have hair will understand how big a deal it is to finally have a hairline that allows you to do more with your hair. Um, this is 50% results, as you can see. Um, I will let Dr. Pateen go through with a comb, get some really super close-ups of both the back and the front showing how it's healing. That'll be coming out on Sunday because it is exactly six months on Sunday. So I want Dr. Pateen to see me then and go through with a really, really fine tooth comb and give you guys some real scientific data and info on what to expect for the coming months. Um, but if you do have questions about donor he healing area, I did a video with a ton of answers to those questions last week. Go check that video out. And then also today, I will be showing you how the back is healed with a fade. So I hope you're excited for that. Let's go ahead and fade into the next spot. Let's hit the barber, guys. All right, guys, so we're here. Let's step into the barber and we're gonna get some work done. Let's see what it looks like. All right, there you go. So the goat is uh, where I go and I haven't been here a long time, but this is my friend Chris's place. I used to know him a long time ago. Let's go say hello to him. All right, guys, just got in the barber chair. Look at the goat. Love it. All these lights, special studio in here. And he's getting a setup for me so you guys can see the haircut. Yeah, guys, so real talk, the cruelest, coolest thing about this entire experience was seeing a barber that hadn't seen me in five years. And uh, back then I had hair, not as much. I mean, I should say I had a lot more than I did like seven months ago. Um, but I was more receding and thinning rather than balding at that point. So for him to go ahead and not see me for like four years and then all of a sudden see me with balding hair, like in pictures, but then also see pictures of like holes in the back of my head and me to tell him like, Hey, look, I got a hair transplant and be like, yeah, your hair looks thick. Like it looks really good. And holy crap, let me see the back. Like the back doesn't look like it's had any hair removed. Like it looks undamaged. It looks good. Um, it was really cool. He complimented me so many times, felt really good, especially since I hadn't really gotten a comment from a barber on my hair in so long. Most of them are like, oh, we'll do our best to make you look good, you know? Um, <laughs> or don't worry, we'll make you look good. And it's like, okay, cool, thanks. No one's ever complimented how good your hair looks uh, when you're balding. But, so that was a cool experience. Now, I will say, around this area in the video, we were talking about how short to go and I told him that it's okay if he does go so short that it shows the hair transplant results in the back because we are only at month six and that means that I still have six months of healing to go for the back um, and I had him go really short guys I had him go down to like a, a number one um, or just like straight skin depending on where you're in the back of the head so it definitely went over the donor area quite a bit um, and the donor area is going to be when Dr. Pateen sees me anywhere from like a zero to a two for the most part, which is really crazy. And it was really cool to do. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, big shout out to Chris. He did a really good job. He actually had him looking even better, but I had him go shorter, uh, cause I wanted to give a more realistic image of what my head is looking like in the donor area for you guys. Normally I wouldn't go as high a fade. I'd go a little bit lower, um, on my head and I do a little bit longer. Um, but that's just my personal preference. But let's go ahead and get um, into showing you the difference between the left and the right side right now. Because the right side of my head in this video is not done yet, and the left side is. So you can see how drastic the change is. I mean, dude, the fade looks amazing. One of the coolest things about fades for me is that I have a red beard. So it really separates the red hair from the like dark brown hair on my head. So I do want to go ahead and say thank you so much to Chris for setting up some lights for me and letting me record in the shop and get permission for everyone to let me go ahead and film. It's really cool him. Um, and yeah, I'm super happy with the results, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and see what he has to say, though, about the back of my hair before I go ahead and do an outro. All right, guys, I actually just got done at the GOAT with the owner, Chris. We stepped aside so we can take our masks off. Uh, obviously, we want to follow COVID standards. I'm gonna let him do a real quick uh, review of my hair. So, pretty much right here, you know, I've one I've never seen anything like that you know I've never seen a procedure done so once we got right here we we were able to go pretty pretty low got to do like a one to one and a half and then obviously from there clipper over comb and man came out perfect beautiful thank you so much Chris thank you I hope thank you'll you. come see you in Chicago 
definitely appreciate him coming by. The best. And, uh, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Before I do go, I want to say that Sunday I will have a video out with Dr. Bernine doing a very critical review of my hair. Um, and hopefully you guys think it looks great. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, also, if you want me to do more videos like this and uh, more vlog style stuff, like maybe even show up the gold Tesla, see who noticed it, maybe I will. Just tell me in the comments below, guys. And of course, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.